Hello, so my name is Athir Mouisser, a research associate from Florence School of uh, Regulation. And we are here in Brussels uh, one day before the workshop of SmartNet uh, on the 20th of June. And I'm with Helena Gerard, a senior researcher of VITO, uh, Belgian research uh, organization. So Helena, at six months from the end of this project and in the middle of the execution phase, we have we want to know some insights about the five coordination scheme, especially about the differences between a DSO platform and an European flat platform for the exchange of ancillary service. Can you give us some insights from the five coordination schemes? Yeah, so um, we have five coordination schemes in total where we have two coordination schemes that really focus on having local markets for a DSO, which is on one hand interesting to kickstart a market but on the other hand if you have many local markets that have to interact with each other mm. might be very complex on an ICT level so then on the other hand you have some concepts which are more overarching some larger huge common platforms which mm. have the advantage of having everything all together but then there is of course a challenge that you have still to make it run and to make it possible that um, that you can do that in one shot so then the final solution is of course try to make as many local platforms that can easily talk to each other so that still you have the efficiency of an integrated platform mm. but still also the um, the smaller scale of a local platform ah uh, thank you and um, yeah but uh, there is also one other blurry side in this question it's between making the differences of the different flexibility service and the relationship between or the uh, common point between flexibility, non-frequency ancillary service, frequency ancillary service with regard to the new roles that are, or the new provision that allow DSO to uh, acquire them in the clean energy package. So from the perspective of um, this uh, three uh, area, what are the, dif can we differentiate the different market products between them? Yeah, that's actually a very interesting question because obviously a DSO needs to have flexibility or can use flexibility for local congestion management. Mm -hmm. But the same flexibility from the distribution grid could be used by the TSO for uh, frequency control or balancing. So you have both system operators basically interested in the same resources. So obviously then you need to find smart ways how to allocate the same resource where it is needed the most. And that's what we propose in Smart net don't take priority rules for one or another system operator but just allocate it where the value is the most for the entire system and that's something that you can calculate but obviously you need to have some smart cooperation between TSOs and DSOs also in terms of their uh, tarification and just in terms of communication to make that work yeah. yeah but also another question which I mean this topic is really interesting and this leads us to that some of these products are, uh, are highly uh, locational that means that they depend on their, their location so that to get importance for the DSO or for the TSO so this doesn't create some illiquid market or on the other hand some market power for the uh, com uh, market parties that own these assets also a very relevant question indeed you're completely right when a dso uses resources for local congestion management obviously the location of the resource is extremely important so it's really useful that if you have local markets that collect these resources that these local markets are sufficiently large to make sure that you guarantee a certain level of liquidity and that's what i also said before if you can then connect multiple local markets with each other or connect these local markets with a more central market then you guarantee that there is somehow um, in case that the prices in one market are too high that resources in another market can be used but it's true it's a concern that local flexibility can create some spikes but obviously a DSO always has the alternative to put another cable yeah. in the ground so that somehow limits also the market power for having very high locational prices mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you very much, Elena, for this insight. And we all look forward to, for having the final result of this of the SmartNet project, which will be in, at the end of 2018. Yes, at the yeah. end of 2018. Uh, and I absolutely welcome you to read the uh, deliverables. They are very yeah. interesting. And also the FSR uh, 
conference in uh, or the SmartNet conference in Florence in yes, October. Yes, there will be three thematic uh, conferences mm. or workshops in October, mm. which will also discuss some of the most valuable results of the project. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, right. thank you. Ciao. Bye. <laughs>